This RC car is heavy and mahoosive. And it's supposed to do 60 miles per hour. But I want to put this giant motor in it and see if we can make it even faster. Look at that, it's bigger than a soda can. Here it is next to a Red Bull. But anyway, let's first unbox it and see what we're dealing with. This is the brand new Armour Creighton 8S EXB version 2. Man, this thing is a bit of a beast and it's supposed to be extremely durable. This one here is a new Outcast EXB that I did a video on very recently and some of you guys gave me a bit of a hard time because I gave it some extreme upgrades and you guys wanted to see how it performed stock a little bit more. So we're going to run it stock first in this video. We're going to durability test it stock in this video. Then I want to fit a bigger motor in this video and then run it again also in this video. Now the Outcast is shorter and more for stunts while the crazy is longer and more for stability. And just like the Outcast, the Creighton version 2 has got quite a few upgrades included with the truck. We've got a bigger motor, so that should give us more power to do 60 mile an hour. Now fitted in the truck is the slow speed gearing, more for bashing. However, in the box, you also get the high speed gearing to hopefully hit that 60 mile an hour. We've got a new speed controller there to take the extra power. We've got a stronger and bigger servo, it's supposed to have 47% more torque. However, the Outcast had the same servo and it started clicking. Maybe unlucky, maybe dodgy. In this one, we're gonna find out. Now, this Outcast has been severely modified and you can win it in a competition that I've set up. We've got Eco Power Servo, Custom RC Upgrade, Heavy Duty Chassis Braces, M2C Steering Rack, Hinge Pin Blocks, M2C Drive Shafts, Heavy Duty Shock Conversion Kit, Pillow Ball Conversion Kit, Super Durable M2C 7075 Aluminium Chassis. Here's your Techno Babble. So if you want a chance to win this car, there's a link down below in the description box. Anyway, the Creighton being extreme bash it's got an extremely durable 7075 aluminium chassis now in the past these have been prone to bending but being the version 2 I'm hoping it's going to survive. In this video, we're going to find out. Anyway, they've got a whole bunch of other upgrades on the version 2. Stronger plastics and more techno babble. You've got all these specifications on the box. More specifications here. More rounds here. More there. But I know most of you just want to see it run. So I'm not going to bore you with all the techno babble. I'm just going to put a link down below in the description box where you can buy this car from and also where you can get all those specifications. Now, I'm going to be running it on these Gens Ace 4S Live Posts. So two of those 8S. Now, to Fit it in there, we've got to undo some screws, open out the battery box, and then it should fit. Now, it's a bit of a controversial subject. What is better, Traxxas or Armour? Both of them have got pros and cons, but ultimately, the best one for you is whichever one puts the biggest smile on your face. So, just watch some videos on this channel and in YouTube in general, and just make up your own mind. You're going to have fun with both of them. Right, that's enough waffle. Let's go back. Do a speed test with a GPS. Put the high speed gearing on. Then another speed test. Then giant motor in. Then another speed test. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Here we are on location. You've got Andy and AS in the house. What choice you got? Oh, Stephen means business. Only five. Rustler, Granite, Savage, X Max, and Amp. Boom. And what's Andy got? Just X Max. Beautiful. How long for? So let's get him on and see what it's all about. <laughs> Steering. Yep. Plenty of speed and power. And nothing fell off. Yet. <laughs> Hey! Hey! He's stones. Naughty. <laughs> we got Tiny in the house. Here we go. First challenge. Success. <laughs> How easy. Look at that. Can you, Andy, do it as well as that? Here comes the X-Max. I think the Creighton might have done it nicer. You yeah, watch. Who can do it the slowest, side by side?
<laughs> That's a win, surprisingly, for the crater. I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> It's handling lovely. That is handling really good. On my first crate in version 1AS, we took off on that and it landed on that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Instantly bent the chassis. I want to try that a bit later, but first, let's see how fast it can go on the stock gearing on grass. There we go, zero mile an hour on the GP of S. <laughs> oh, in the face. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, don't forget, this is the slow speed gearing. Oh, that's moving, that's fast. Let's see what she did. This thing handles good, man. 47 mile an hour. 47 mile an hour on the stock gearing. That's pretty good. I have a challenge. What you gotta do is take off from there, hit the brakes, and then land on the front wheels, and then the back wheels are not allowed to touch until we get back onto the concrete. Who do you reckon can do it first? Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's give it a go. So you gotta go fairly slow. Brakes on. Ah, oh, didn't do it. Next. Steven's got his Savage there, and he's got his X-Max. No. Oh, no, too fast. Too fast. Oh. Oh, new body. Footage. Oh, on the head. Didn't quite manage it, did he? No, too fast. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna try the chassis bender. Take off from that one and land on that one. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Got guys in the house. What yeah. you got, mate? He's got his, oh, XRT. XRT and the X Max. X Max got, over. Um, a Max 5 on this now. Yeah? Superpower, yeah. Oh, what do you reckon? Did you take it? It's fine. Dead straight, look. Perfect. Oh. That's what killed the original one. So, yep, that's a plus point for that one. Full power! Look at that, this thing's a beast! Well, I'm gonna try the suicide jump. This is bad, because if you don't make it, it crashes into that. Here we go, full power! Oh! Let's try it again. Oh, I missed again, where is it? Ah, oh, steering's gone. Game over, steering's done. No, we've got a problem. No steering and no power now. You've done a yeah. Oh. Gone. Button's gone. Oh no, look, broken. That chassis brace is broke. Steering wise. Oh, it's broke. Yeah. No, servo's fine. Oh yeah, it's quite broken. We've got broken steering components down there. Plug it back in, see if it works. Upgrades, people, upgrades. Come on. He's dead. Well, nothing. Oh, I think, oh. I think it did. Oh. No, it came over. Yeah, the motor's gone. But it's no steering, no nothing. It's all died. Oh. The lot's on in there. No lot on the AC. That's all. Nobody fun. finds the weaknesses as quick as we do on this channel. So back <laughs> to the shop, bigger motor, fix it, back in action. So let's take it apart, see if we can find out what's wrong with it, then see if we can fit this giant motor into it, then take it out for round two in this video. When you're doing those massive jumps and landing on concrete, the chassis comes down, hits the floor, puts a massive shockwave through like everything electrical and can just ruin it. So maybe that's what's happened to the speed controller. Let's investigate. Jesus, that speed controller is on there. How's that going to come off? How is that held on there? Can't just be tape, can it? Look at that, that is some good stuff. Oh, oh my god. Sometimes when the ESC stops working, it can just come unplugged from the receiver, but it's still in there by the looks of it. Oh, 
So while that's out, it's going to make it easier to fix the steering. So the part that's actually broken is one of these bell cranks. It goes in there somewhere. It's the quickest way that I know how to get that in. Boom! I should really put an M2C1 in like I have on the Outcast AS, but I don't have one, so plastic's gonna have to do for now. Also, look here, look, this centre support brace thing, got a bit of plastic missing there. That means it's gonna start flapping, so I've got some M2C1s here to put on it. So next we've got to take the motor mount off of the old motor and fit it onto the new one. Oh. We have a problem because the motor is so tall, look, it will not fit in the chassis. And even on the other end here, look, it's going to hit on all the suspension. There's no way this is going to fit. But luckily, I've got this brand new hobby wing combo here. Hopefully that one's going to fit. This is the brand new hobby wing Max 5 G2. Now this speed controller can do 12 S LiPo. The original can only do 8 and more S means more power. So hopefully this motor's gonna fit into here and it doesn't, it hits onto there. Now M2C's version two belt crank system, it's shorter on one side to allow room for the motor. So I've ordered it up, so now we just gotta wait for it to turn up. And while that's happening, we might as well have a little look to see which component in here failed and made it all stop working. So first of all, we can check the receiver and the servo by plugging in a separate battery pack. So controller on, and then we get this battery and we plug it directly into the receiver. That's powered up, but nothing's happening. Now that could be a dead servo. So to iron that out, we can pull this servo out. So I've got a different servo here that I know that works and we can go ahead and plug that one in. Look at that. That servo moves. That means the receiver's good, the radio's good, the servo's bad. So here I've got a servo tester. So that all works. So now let's plug in this servo inside the car. Plug that into there. Yep, servo dead. Look, nothing's happening. Let's check it the other way around just to make sure. Yep, game over. Luckily here, I've got an Eco Power servo, and this is the same servo that I put into the Outcast, and that worked perfectly. So you can stick that in there in a minute. But anyway, I want to see if the speed controller and the motor's faulty. So we've got the motor, speed controller, servo tester, power for the servo tester. So now all we've got to do is plug in the speed controller. Hopefully no fire. In here, the little button's gone, so we can just turn it on like that. We've got flashing light there. Don't know what that means. Turn this dial, that is supposed to make it work, and it isn't, so it appears the speed controller is dead. Just to make sure, we can try this plug here, the other way around, and oh, it doesn't like it. It just completely turns off this. See what happens if you turn it on. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So that last jump killed the speed controller and killed the servo. Landing these cars with metal chassis directly onto concrete, it just completely ruins the electronics. On a car with a plastic chassis, the absorption of the plastic kind of saves the electronics. But this metal one is just directly smashed straight onto the concrete. So if you want to go onto concrete skate parks, you're probably best off with plastic chassis. Luckily, I know the quick way of getting it in there. I've only just shown you the exact same job on this car so no point showing you the same one again here we go boom that fitted in there perfectly so this is the stock pinion this one here the high speed pinion so we're going to run with the high speed one now with this pinion here it's supposed to do 60 mile an hour on the stock motor and on a test with a bigger motor and more s's we should be able to go a lot more so we can't put this in yet until we get the m2c steering but while we're waiting we can mount the esc so to get it to go onto here m2c make a nice little adapter plate so that goes on there and then that goes on there. Then here we've got some EC5 compatible Onyx connectors. And now we can install it all into the car. It's been a few days and it has arrived. So you see how this one sticks out here? This one here's got one shorter bell crank and that's gonna bring it in. I've already shown you how to fit it on the Outcast video. So we're gonna put them on a different way. Boom! There we go, got it all in there. Now if you look at it, the steering rack is at the angle. So now, go ahead, slide the motor in. There we go, look, just enough clearance and we still get full steering both ways. Oh no, look, it hits on the new motor, so we have to grind a little bit out of this piece. Or snip. There we go, ready for action!
We've got some new microphones we're testing out, by the way. So if the audio works, happy days. If it doesn't, unlucky, it's going to be voiceover. We've got the batteries in. We've got the Gen Zace in there, look. We've got GPS on there. Track start. Oh! It's got some power. Do you know what? Now that I've got microphone, I can stand to the other side of the road and you can still hear me. Whoa, that's got power, man. Here we go, flat out. Whoa. Oh, that diff didn't sound good. Oh, let's go then. What, what speed have we got so far? 56. 56, is that it? All right, we've got to go again. Here we go, flat out. Well, that's full. That's full power. Whoa, car coming. <laughs> Here we go, full speed. Well, that's full. Full power, that's full. Oh, those diffs, man. How can that be killing the diffs already? Oh, I'm a tough. Slows down quick, though. Do you know why? That is why Spectrum put such a low brakes on their stuff to save the diffs, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Tumble Wumble. Next location, skate park. And this is one of the roughest skate parks that we've ever been to. We've only been there a couple of times. Oh, before we go, we've got to see what the speed is. But GPS is gone. GPS fell off somewhere. No idea where it is. We found it. You got it. What's the speed say? 57. 57? 57. So we got a slight disappointment there on the speed. We was hoping for over 60. Different motors, different gearing. God knows. But anyway, skate park next. Let's go. <laughs> Location, we got crew in the house. Uh. Oh. This place is voted as one of the Europe's best skate parks. The thing is punishing. Look at this man. Bowl there, bowl there, bowl there. Nothing survives this place, like nothing. If this Creighton survives, I'll be surprised. Right, let's go. Oh, hey! Forward Smith's in the house. What up? <laughs> what up? What you got? I got Big Rock. Big Rock, skateboard. Yep. Oh, hey, yes, Steve's got his scent on. Hello, Stephen. Yeah, oh, guys in the house. What you got there, mate? XRT? XRT, and I got an X Max in the car. Yep, yeah, nice, nice. Let's get a little montage of this thing down there. <laughs> oh, screws backing out of the bulkhead. I've got myself a challenge. I've got to take off from this piece, over the top of that, and then land there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> right, I'm going to try that flat out, see what happens. Oh my god! Oh my God! Oh! How oh, 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 severe! Still going though. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this looks so... Oh! Oh my God. You're not going to believe this. Is that You're not... Oh, it's crippled. What, what has happened to it? Oh, look! Front bulkhead off. Rear bulkhead off. Getting it now! Oh, oh. It stopped working. Why did it stop working? Oh, the body's had it. Oh my God. Oh, this has come out. Look at that bulkhead is completely off. Oh my God. And the back one the same. All right, well. What about the chassis though? Chassis's all right. Oh, all the screws are coming out everywhere. Look at that. Oh, one missing. Okay, right, let's plug it back in and carry on. Later on, if it survives, this ESC can do 12S. I want to try it on 12S and see again how fast it goes. 
<laughs> Steering's not very good. All right, here we go, to the moon, back out. Cheers. How's it still going? Ah, oh, that's it. Game over. Careful, you bend it. <laughs> what have you busted? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Man, that's oh. wow. Oh, damn. Uh, you know what? That's I broken. don't think that's quite right. That, that brace right. is only if you hold it together now, isn't it? I'm a tough baby. <laughs> Pick it up like that, and it looks okay. You put it down like that, and no. <laughs> broken. No. Oh, Back to the shop, fix it. Then I want to run it on 12S. Here we go, guys, with the XRT. Steve's got his Savage. Oh no, Steve's off. Oh, he made it out. Uh oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> How did that go that way? What happened? Lost control, go transition. <laughs> 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 it's slippery on there, dude. <laughs> Dad's trying to knock him in. Just curious to see if the chassis is still going to be straight after all that abuse. Da -da 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 -da. Do you know what? Surprisingly, after all that abuse, it's not bad. Next video with this car, we're going to chuck a load of upgrades on there and try and make it even more durable. And then we're going to go 12S LiPo. This is 6S. We're going to put two of these in there. Also, upcoming video, this happened to the X Maxes, so they didn't get off lightly either. So subscribe and smash the bell so that you don't miss any of it. And don't forget, you can win this Armour Outcast 8S EXP with all these heavy-duty upgrades. Link down below in the description box. <laughs>